in this session we will be discussing about the pharmacology questions which was asked for NEET 2023. A patient on antihypertensive drug has the following changes that is peaked T waves, small or indiscernible P waves. Both of these are features of hyperkalemia. And another ECG feature that is seen in uh, hyperkalemia is prolongation of PR interval. This is usually seen at a plasma concentration of 7 to 8 milli equivalents per liter of potassium. So among these agents, the agent which can possibly produce hyperkalemia is aldosterone antagonist spironolactone. So these agents, aldosterone acts on the collecting tubule where it reabsorbs sodium in exchange for potassium. So when you are blocking aldosterone, it will reduce the reabsorption of sodium and it will reduce the excretion of potassium that will result in hyperkalemia. Atenolol is a cardioselective beta blocker. Atenolol has two reports of hyperkalemia that is extremely rare and this is possibly due to inhibition of renin angiotensin aldosterone system by beta 1 antagonist. Prasosin is an alpha 1 adrenergic receptor blocker. It is used for benign hyperplasia of prostate and also for the treatment of systemic hypertension. Hydrochlorothiazide is a thiazide diuretic primarily used in the treatment of systemic hypertension and thiazide diuretic produces increased excretion of potassium leading to hypokalemia. So it does not produce hyperkalemia. So the answer is pyranolactone option C. Patient with increased uric acid is taking medications for gout. Which of the following drug acts by inhibiting uric acid synthesis? Option A is probenicid. Uric acid reabsorption occurs in the proximal convoluted tubule with the help of uric acid transporter which is present in the proximal convoluted tubule. And this uric acid is reabsorbed in exchange for lactate chloride or Nicotinate. Probenicid is an agent which will compete with uric acid for reabsorption, thereby reducing uric acid reabsorption. Other agents which has similar action is benzbromeron. and losartan. Allopurinol is a sandine oxidase inhibitor. So the sandine oxidase enzyme catalyzes the conversion of xanthine to uric acid. So since this enzyme is inhibited, the formation of uric acid is inhibited. So, allopurinol is an agent that inhibits uric acid synthesis. The option is, answer is option B. Colchicin is an anti-inflammatory agent. It reduces the neutrophil activity. It reduces interleukin 1 and 6 and reduces superoxides. Thereby improving symptoms of gout. Diclofenac is a preferential COX-2 inhibitor. It reduces the formation of prostaglandins thereby providing symptomatic benefit. So the answer is allopurinol which is a sandine oxidase inhibitor. 
A child presented to the hospital with agitation, photophobia, retention of urine. History reveals that he has taken a wild fruit while playing. Which of the following is likely the cause with the best treatment? Two options given are yellow oleander and datura. Yellow oleander is cerebra tevesia, which is a cardiotoxic agent. This will result in AV block, bradycardia, hypotension, convulsions and hyperkalemia. So the treatment of yellow oleander poisoning is atropin for bradycardia, lignocaine if the person is having cardiac arrhythmia, and digoxin monoclonal antibody FAB is also used in the treatment of yellow oleander poison. Datura is also known by other names angel's trumpet devil's apple and also as apple of peru this is an anticholinergic agent and ingestion of datura will produce anticholinergic symptoms Acetylcholine esterase inhibitors that cross the blood brain barrier is the treatment of choice in case of datura poison. So, we are given two options pyridostigmin and physostigmin. Among pyridostigmin and physostigmin, physostigmin crosses the blood brain barrier. This is to counteract the central nervous symptoms of datura. So, the correct option would be option D. Which pharmacokinetic or pharmacodynamic property of angiotensin receptor blocker is wrong? Tell me certain undergoes exclusive hepatic levens. That is correct. Tell me, tell me certain undergoes extensive metabolism. So, no dose reduction is required in renal failure. Irbisartan undergoes combined hepatic and renal clearance that is also correct some amount of irbisartan is metabolized and some amount is excreted unchanged in urine. Losartan is an antagonist of thromboxin A2 receptors and attenuates platelet aggregation that is also true losartan is an ARB with antiplatelet action. Candisartan is not used in mild to moderate hepatic insufficiency but used in renal insufficiency. Candisartan 33 percentage is eliminated by the kidneys and 67 percentage is eliminated by the liver. So though the major proportion of candisartan is eliminated by the liver, candisartan cannot be used in renal insufficiency because there will be accumulation. So, the correct answer would be option D. A patient with organophosphate poisoning was started on atropine infusion and pralidoxide. He develops high grade fever after 2 hours. What is the likely cause of fever? A side effect of oxymes. Oxymes, they are choline esterase reactivators. 3 oxymes are available pralidoxine. Obidoxime and diacetyl monoxime. So, these oxymes they are used in organophosphate poisoning, overdose of acetylcholine esterase inhibitors in Alzheimer's disease and myasthenia gravis. And the major adverse effects of oxymes include blurred vision, diplopia. Increased blood pressure 
and hyperventilation. So this option is wrong. Adverse effects of atropin. Atropin is an anti-muscarinic agent. It blocks the muscarinic receptors and counteracts the symptoms of organophosphate poisoning. Atropin reduces sweating, thereby increasing the body temperature. Atropin also has central action, which will also increase the body temperature. So this would be the correct option. Organophosphate poisoning does not produce increase in body temperature. Organophosphate poisoning produces symptoms of cholinergic overactivity. Salivation, lacrimation, bradycardia, urination, defecation, meiosis. These are the common symptoms of organophosphate poison. So the correct answer is option D. What is the treatment of aspirin overdose? Aspirin is acetyl salicylic acid. It is an acidic drug. So aspirin after renal filtration, it will get reabsorbed in the renal tubules. So if you are alkalinizing the urine, this will result in ionization of aspirin. And these charged molecules, they will not be able to cross membranes and it will not be reabsorbed. So alkalinizing the urine can be done with IV sodium bicarbonate. So that is the correct answer. Naloxone is a mu opioid receptor antagonist. used to counteract acute opioid overdose. N-acetylcysteine, it is used in paracetamol overdose. It replenishes the glutathione in liver so that N-acetyl para benzoquinone imine can be conjugated and eliminated. Glucagon is approved for the treatment of hypoglycemia. The major adverse drug reactions of glucagon include rebound hypoglycemia. and also nausea. So that finishes this session. Hope the session was helpful. Do revise all these topics before you go for the exam. Thank you.